Hey guys, I'm here with a Bath & Body Works hand soap haul. It's my first fall hand soap haul. Most of these are kind of new for like the fall. Some of them aren't necessarily fall. There's a few in here that aren't really fall kind of, but then there's some that are, and there's some that are kind of in the middle. But they've all just recently came out, so I guess they're kind of for the fall, I guess. Um, even though a couple of these are kind of summerish a little bit. And then some of them are definitely fall. So, I will get started. I had, um, actually, hand soaps are on sale today. Uh, I think they were yesterday and today, I think. Today is Tuesday, August 1st. I think they were on sale yesterday, the 31st, and today the 1st. Um, for $3. And then they had a 10 off 30 email coupon that was good this past weekend. And I asked her if... I could use that because I know they have a three day grace period on the, there's a little gnat here. Uh, they have a three day grace period on the the mail coupons you receive in the mail, but I didn't know about the email coupons, but she said, yeah, that was fine. So she let me use it. So I got 10 hand soaps, uh, 10 hand soaps for $30, took the 10 off 30 and got 10 hand soaps for $20. So they came to $2 each. So that's a really good deal. That is my favorite deal to get on the hand soaps is 10 off 30 and then um, they're three, then it drops it down to $2 each. So I will show you what I got. First up, we have this collection of hand soaps here. I'm not sure what this collection is. It kind of looks like wood and then marble on the, on the packaging here. I don't know exactly what this collection of hand soaps is called, but this is what it looks like. The first one is white cherry and thyme. As you can see, it looks like there's wood down here and then like marble up here. So I kind of like that packaging and kind of sophisticated looking and the label and the all that stuff. So I kind of like the packaging. So these are gentle foaming hand soaps with coconut oil. And this one reads sweet cherries, crisp eucalyptus, and fresh thyme. This one's nice. I don't, it's sweet cherries. I don't really get cherries that much, but I definitely get kind of a, a, a light eucalyptus and maybe a little, a bit of thyme in there. Cherries, you don't, if it is cherries, it's like a real light cherry. It says white cherry in thyme, but then over here it says sweet cherries. I'm not sure exactly what white cherry is. I don't know if that's like not quite as a juicy tart cherry, more of a soft, duller, not quite so tart cherry. But it's definitely not like what you would think a cherry scent would smell like. But you definitely get that eucalyptus. And that's not a real strong eucalyptus either, but it's like a light eucalyptus with like a little bit of time. It's pretty nice. So it was new, so I figured I'd try it out. So I got that one, and it's bubbling up there. Sudsy, not the lid. So uh, I better put it over here. Next we have, from that same collection, I have four from that, this wood marbly collection. This one is Birchwood and Juniper. Now this one here looks different. It just, the package on this one looks like just wood. Different shades of, different shades of wood on that one, like a grayish and then like a lighter white on this one. And this one on the side reads birchwood, juniper berries, and pink pepper. This one's so nice. Definitely get kind of like a, a wood and then like slightly juniper mixed with that. What was the other one? Black pepper or pink pepper. Pink pepper. I don't know what pink, what's pink pepper? I get a hint of like a pepper note. But I don't know what pink pepper, pink pepper is, but I get kind of a peppery smell with that juniper and the woody smell. The birch wood is really nice. I like it. It almost smells like a, like a nice, like a, like a high-end, like a, a men's store, like in a high-end men's, like, department store, and you would smell the nice cologne in there. That It's just really nice. A really sophisticated cologne, nice kind of scent. Not super cologne -y, but just in that kind of a 
kind of a vibe with it. I like it a lot, it's really nice. So, next we have Autumn Spice and Clementine. And this one, on this package, it looks like marble on the bottom, and I don't know what that texture is on the top. I guess it could kind of be marble a little bit too, maybe. I'm not sure. They all have different kind of grains and things going on in the packaging on this one. But they're, I like them, it's nice. And this one reads, Sweet Clementine, Golden, Persimmon, and Sage. I googled persimmon, if that's how you say that, and it's supposedly it's a fruit. It's an edible fruit. So we have the clementine persimmon, which is a fruit as well, and then sage. So it should be like fruit and sage. So this one's, it's definitely fruity. You can maybe get a little sage in there with it. I don't, it's a clementine, yes, but I, and then I don't know what persimmon smells like exactly, but if it's edible fruit, it's gonna be fruity. So the clementine, the fruit, I definitely get that. A little bit of sage kind of in there. I don't know if I would call it the name Autumn Spice. I don't get any kind of Autumn Spice out of this. Definitely no spice, really. I mean, if they have the sage in there, a sage could be like a spice, but that's more like herbal, kind of a herbalness to me, than like spice. I, I think they should call it like clementine and sage or something like that rather than Autumn Spice. Autumn Spice and Clementine, I thought it was gonna be somewhat spicy maybe, but yeah, it's okay, but I wouldn't, I, the name's a little misleading. Don't think this is gonna smell like an Autumn Spice. It doesn't really, it's just like a Clementine with a little bit of like a sage note to it. But it's pretty nice. And then lastly in that little collection, we have Garden Sage and Mint. And this one has the bottom has kind of a wood texture as well, but the part top half has just, it's just silver. Just silver. It almost looks like, it looks like a cologne bottle. It doesn't look like a cologne, like a cologne bottle. And this would be the top and that would be the top of the cologne. You just take the cologne lid off. Doesn't that, that's what it looks like to me. So, Garden Sage and Mint reads, fresh mint, tea leaves, and geranium. That's weird, it doesn't say sage in the description though, it just says mint, tea leaves, and geranium. Mm, this one's so nice too. Oh, this one's really good. It's, it's, you get like the mint, and kind of get like a, not really tea, your typical tea, no, it could be like a, like a, herbal tea or not really herbal tea but like the tea like in a like in tea bags that's not they just you know what I mean like a like aromatic tea in bags kind of a thing more like spicy and herbally like than like regular drinking tea and then sage uh, maybe some sage kind of mixed with that and geranium, it says. Mm, possibly. I could maybe kind of get a little bit of everything. I could maybe kind of get a little bit of sage. I could get some mint. I could get kind of like the the tea leaves, actual leaves. You know, the dried up leaves of the tea leaves. And geranium, because you could get a little bit of florally in there. It's nice, though. It's really nice. Could almost come off a little cologne as well like a high-end sophisticated they're kind of high-end sophisticated scents on this little collection here but i like them i think they'll be really nice washing your hands with them so that is it for those four and then i have these two here in this next collection this collection is the one i don't know the name of this collection either it's just they're made all these are made with uh, white tea and ginseng and extracts so these two are a little bit summary and this one other is a little kind of sp I'll let you know in a second here this one is, the first one is coconut eucalyptus and that's the packaging there the coconut and the flowers there and it's a green colored soap and on the sides 
uh, it says coconut eucalyptus, uh, gentle foaming hand soap with white tea and ginseng extracts. It says creamy coconut, eucalyptus, and blue sage. Not sure what blue sage is, but that's what it has. This one's really nice too. These are all, I'm really happy with all these scents. These soaps are really uh, different. They're just different. You get coconut, but it's not like a summery coconut like Honolulu Sun. It's not like a toasted coconut, like an edible toasted coconut. It's not like a pure coconut really, or just like a raw coconut. It's a slight coconut mixed with a little bit of eucalyptus, but it's not super strong eucalyptus. It's just like a light eucalyptus mixed with it. And what did it also to say? Blue sage. I don't really know about sage in this one. Maybe just a little bit, but not a lot. And then it, um, they're made with white tea and ginseng extracts. I can maybe get a little bit of white tea in there, the ginseng. It blends really nice together though. I really like that a lot. It's really nice. It's not like your typical coconut scent, but I guess that eucalyptus and all the other, you know, white tea and ginseng and sage and everything, it just blends all together really nice. and it's really really nice then we have the other one from this little collection of white tea and ginseng extracts is fresh rain and spearmint and that packaging there and is that yeah spearmint leaves with flowers there this says spearmint leaves morning dew drops and cedarwood so it's just gonna be like spearmint and cedarwood with like a rainy scent. This one smells real familiar. Kind of, I don't, this one smells florally to me. I don't get a lot of spearmint with this one. Maybe just a hint of it, but it's not real spearminty. But I definitely get that, the rainy, kind of watery kind of a scent. And then it said, did it say um, cedarwood? Maybe a little bit of a woodsy florally. But I, it doesn't say floral at all, but I get floral. It has flowers in the picture, but it doesn't say flowers in the description. It just says spearmint, but I don't get a lot of spearmint. I get kind of more of a florally, so slightly woodsy scent. Um, I don't really pick up a lot of white tea and ginseng in this one either. This one almost has kind of a spring feel to me. This was, it smells like, it smells like it would be a soap that would be out in the springtime. I almost didn't pick this one up, but we were trying to hurry. Brad and the boys were with me and they were waiting. So I'm like trying to rush. And I thought, I'll just pick this one up. I almost got, there was a uh, Clementine one in this collection as well. I almost got that one. I picked this one up instead. So I don't know. I might take this one and exchange it for um, something later. Maybe if they have more fall scents that come out, I might take this one and exchange it. Cause it's nice, but it's just very springy to me. It's not, summary or even fall to me so and then lastly we have these four here these are all with the these are nourishing hand soaps these first three here are definitely fall these are the nourishing hand soaps with pumpkin butter and the first one is white pumpkin peppercorn these are the new ones here they are in this shaped bottle like this this thin shaped bottles a different shaped bottle and the nourishing hand soaps, like I said, white pumpkin peppercorn with a nice picture of the white pumpkins on there. And it has uh, pumpkin butter. It's a hand soap, nourishing hand soap with pumpkin butter. They had these hand soaps out as last year as well. They had them in the foaming and they also had them in the regular, um, uh, the regular size with like this normally the uh, cleansing soap or whatever it's called. The one I don't normally use, I usually use the foaming. I got those last year because I thought, ooh, they have pumpkin butter, let me try them out. But I wasn't all that impressed with them. I ended up taking them back and exchanging them for some foaming soaps. So actually, I think the nourishing was in foaming or was it not in foaming last year? Maybe it wasn't in foaming. Maybe it was just the, the soft, creamy kind and the foaming wasn't with pumpkin butter. I can't remember, but anyway, I wanted to try these again this year because I like the packaging plus I really like the scents on two of these anyway. This one says, celebrate fall with creamy coconut, vanilla bean, and white peppercorn. 
So coconut, vanilla bean, and peppercorn. Oh, this one's really good. Very fall. You get a little bit of, slight bit of coconut. But you really get that peppercorn with the white peppercorn and vanilla bean. I get a little pumpkin with a slight bit of coconut. I probably get a little more pumpkin than I do coconut. And then I get that peppercorn mixed in with it. Oh, it's really good. It's very fall like, very, just has a really good fall feel to it. So that's good. I like that one. And then the next one, this one I was so excited about. I heard about this one, but I hadn't smelled it yet. And I love it. This one is spiced apple bourbon. And I'll tell you why I love it in a minute. That's the package. It's got the apple on there. And it's kind of a light green color wax, uh, wax hand soap. Again, it is a nourishing hand soap with pumpkin butter. This spice apple bourbon. It reads, celebrate fall with juicy apple, cinnamon, and a touch of bourbon. So they're saying apple, cinnamon, and bourbon. Mm. Amazing. I love it. I love it because it smells exactly like berry pumpkin strudel from last year, the candle, which is one of my favorites last year. It's getting one of my favorites almost of all time. It's getting up there with banana nut big pudding and berry waffle cone, berry pumpkin strudel. It's right up there. Probably my top five. Smells exactly like it. I mean, spot on 100%. This is berry pumpkin strudel in a hand soap. If you love berry pumpkin strudel, go pick this up right now. Run and get as many as you can. I'm thinking I should go back and get more. Exactly like it. It's got the apple. It's like, and cinnamon. It's like an apple spice with cinnamon. Apple spice, cinnamon spice. And then I thought apple, I thought berry pumpkin strudel had like an apple cider, cinnamon, apple cider, cinnamon spice with like berries. And I get berries in this too. It doesn't say berries anywhere on here, but it just says apple and cinnamon and bourbon. But I get, I could get berries in here too. And then it could maybe have a little bourbon-y type of smell kind of, but mostly like the, just the cinnamon, the uh, apple spice cinnamon. I even get a little berries. Like I said, it smells exactly like berry pumpkin strudel. So of course I got one. And I had to get two. I almost got all of these in this one. That's how much I love it. I almost just wanted to get 10 of these because it's I love it. But I kind of want to try it out first on my hands and see, because sometimes the soaps don't really smell that strong once I use them. So if that doesn't smell that strong on my hands, no reason I'm stocking up on it. Even though you can just smell it and it'll smell good. I'm sure you'll smell good on your hands. I just hope it lasts on your hands is what I mean. But yes, amazing, amazing. I think I'm going to have to get some more but I had to get two at least for right now because it's amazing. It smells just like berry pumpkin strudel. Okay, and then lastly, this is another one in the nourishing hand soaps. This is nourishing hand soap with honey butter. And this one is in salted honey and vanilla. They had, uh, I think two or three of these in this, in this honey nourishing hand soap with honey butter. And it's got like, it says honey and it's got like the little bee hive type of design on there. So this one reads, experience a blend of salted butterscotch, creamy vanilla, and honey. So, I'll smell this one out here. This one is good, I like it. I get slight butterscotch and definitely vanilla. And a little honey mixed in there. It's really strong on the vanilla. It's, it's very, it's almost like vanilla extract. Very similar to vanilla extract. If you love vanilla extract scents, you'll like this because it smells pretty much like a vanilla extract. With just a little slight bit of butterscotch and a little honey mixed in there. But yeah, it's really strong on that vanilla. A very, very strong vanilla extract smell, which I love vanilla extract smells, so I liked it. So there was a couple other ones, and there was another one too that I almost, I can't remember the name of it. In this one, but I, I was going between this one and that one. And then I think there's another one. The other one smelled a kind of a uh, lemony, if I remember right, like lemon and honey or something like that. But I picked this one up. So that's it for my first hand soap 
fall hand soap paul like i said those pumpkin ones are definitely fall the honey one was fallish um and that one was spring and the other coconut the coconut one's pretty nice i like that one and then the other ones were kind of like sophisticated high-end they could be kind of anytime really but uh yeah they're really nice so definitely go check them out there's quite a few i'm actually impressed with quite a few of these so um definitely happy with them and i will probably go back once I use some of these, go back and get some more of the fall ones that will come out later because you know they'll have definitely more, definitely uh, some other fall ones later on in the fall. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.